Welcome back to the Low APM Challenge 2022. Yes, we're back. The series didn't end. It's just as always, StarCraft 2 has made it hard. Uh, more than usual to play. The uh, ladder is a mess. Though the matchmaking system still works just fine. And we're going to be testing that out tonight as we continue our efforts as a Terran player to climb the ladder without leaving too much salt behind. Last we checked in, we figured out that having twice as much APM as your age was good enough to make it past the Gold League into Platinum. Um, and we have this handy dandy ranking system. No, not the SC2 replay stats. So that way we can interpret what league we're supposed to be if for some reason we end up as a Bronze League hero. So I will reiterate, what did we cover? The basic build, unit groups, worker benchmarks. You know what? You can read. And if you can't, you're probably screwed anyways. And the Protoss episode is somewhere else. Uh, so I just want to jump into it. We're going to try the new season. We're going to try the ranking system. We'll see if we get promoted to the Bronze League. And either way, welcome to another episode of the Low APM Challenge. Your number one place to pretend like you're going to get better at StarCraft and at least dropping a like and subscribe to justify your apologism. That's a word, right? Make up words, all right? Apologism. I'm going to be focusing today. Well, we're gonna recover the basics. It's been a while. Uh, I mean, I know people are watching these. Hopefully, welcome, it's 2027, and I'm glad you're enjoying this on your uh, Alexa-based neural implant. Um, Alexa, subscribe to Winter Gaming. And now that that's done, you can access the rest of the video. Thank you. Hey, Protoss. Pride of Eltaris. Obviously, the Q times. Not suffering much here. Oh, yeah. And, and we got to bring up Jimmy. Bring up the chart. So we're going off the platinum which is 80 actions per minute. So what happens if I fail at the end of the day? For every 5 APM, round it up, that I go over, I have to pay for it. Yes, I have to gift one sub to the people in the Twitch chat. And if you're not watching live on the Twitch chat, well, good for you. You don't need the additional incentive. You're already enjoying the content. I'm glad you're content with it. And also, not waiting in the Twitch chat is worth uh, a gold or platinum star, in my um, opinion. So, Go ahead. Ready. all right, I'm going to send out that 18th SCV to go scout. We're going to start with the one racks expand. Even at this level, honestly, the only matchup that requires maybe a little different opener. You can use a similar, eh, maybe not the same, but a similar 1-1-1 one, one, one opener against Protoss and against Zerg. It's only Terran versus Terran where they have other Terran units that things can get a little extra dicey. Gonna make a marine. Gonna turn up the sound. Just a little bit. Making okay, he has an expansion we can see on the mini-map. So what else do we see? He actually has no gas. And he's making a zealot. So that's a little scary. I'm gonna make a bunker quicker than I usually would. Somebody been inspired by Zest here. Zest has a... Though, though missing out on the gas, we're going to keep this SCV. We're going to put it on patrol so it doesn't show up on the idle worker hotkey. Got a little supply blocked here because I didn't get that depot. We're going to have to do some micro time. Going to run the SCV away. The T key is your default. Micro. I trained in StarCraft Master for this. You should try out StarCraft Master if you haven't. It's pretty good. That That is 
So unlike in the stupid StarCraft Master um, thing, the, the uh, hard-coded uh, round where the zealots go to different areas, your normal Protoss zealots will just right-click on one marine and you can easily kite them around. So if you can beat that one level, and those of you who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. If you can do that, you can beat one zealot trying to harass your command center. So That level's so terrible. Alright. That, at about four minutes, I'm going to send the SCV in again. Right now, because we saw he didn't have uh, he didn't have any gas early. He literally can't have that much going for him. Get all that production hotkeyed and rallied out. I'm going to do a Widow Mine drop. Very original, I know. This depot. Start working on walling off. Going to go for three mines. Send the SCV in. Just mineral walk it to the main. Couple more barracks now. We have 30 SCVs. Yes. Gonna start walling off the depots. He has a cannon. Alright, I'm gonna scan a little bit between the bases. Robotics facility, gateway, cannon. Okay. So what does that tell us? You know what cannons don't do? Walk across the map and try to kill us. Very important to note. So that means I got plenty of time here. I can put some tech labs. I'm going to move the tech lab from the starport onto one of the barracks, and then I'm going to build a reactor on the starport. Get that NG bay before the five minute mark. I'm going to take two NG bays so I don't forget. Start building tanks. Flip this over. Before I even do the Widow Mine drop, I'm making sure we're good to go on the build. Get another tech lab. I'm going to finish walling off here. This is not a, a great wall, but it's just a good wall. I'm going to put one Widow Mine at his third. Because right now I'm not focused on doing damage. I'm just focused on knowing what he's doing. Let's take these two gases. Gonna get one turret at the front. That's for maybe DTs or something. One in the main. Upgrades. Alright, now that we spent our money and got all that done, he gets to see our widow mine. I'm still building. Remember scouts and probes? Yeah, he's got plenty of cannons. I'm just gonna put a widow mine at the other base. I queued up a drop. If you watched my versus AI video, where I play one versus four versus the AI, Hard air. Uh, and I go mass marine. I explain some more drop tips, so make sure to check that video out, guys. Professional YouTuber. And yeah, I'm not gonna try to force any damage. He's already built more cannons than it costs to uh, build another next. So I see no reason to get super greedy about it. I'm just going to have the Widow Mine at the Watchtower. And then we're going to patrol the medevac to the corner here. Ooh, not without more supply, we're not. Good point, Swan. So we at that 40 mark. We're at 56, and I only have three barracks. Okay, bit of a macro player myself. Add those Research barracks in. Complete. Go ahead. Don't got the minerals. Ready for dust off. So he's probably Upgrade going complete. to try to take a third now. We'll get the armory. Make sure we're building. Upgrade complete. Looks like that research is done. SCB ready. And we just finished. Combat Ooh, shield, stim, plus one, plus one. And this is a terrible pathing, but I'm going to scan. Yep, he's expanding. Going to knock SCB that down. Ready. Ready for dust off. 
get reactors. And a couple turrets for dealing with prisms. Gonna patrol an SCV on those outer bases. And then lose all my units to the stalkers I knew were coming. But I'm gonna retarget onto the Colossus here. We'll see if we have enough. If not, that's fine. Boost away. So we went Colossus. We're gonna get another starport here. Going to build... You know what? I'll build the orbital on the low ground. I'll take that third base. Ship weapons. Plus two attack. And... Plus two armor. Let's scan. What are his upgrades? Zero, zero, zero. So that means I should... Unless he chrono... There's almost no way, unless he finishes 1-1 one, one and starts chrono boosting immediately, that he can have better upgrades. So, I have four medevacs here. I'm going to put a reactor on this. We're going to take a big group of SCVs, set up this base. Make sure I'm producing... I'm gonna have a few of these SCVs on auto repair. Let's get a sensor tower. Spotter depots. Bring this medevac home, please. And Vikings. There's a sensor tower for giving me that little bit of extra warning. Make sure we have a turret out front for observers. And just in general. Building some bio units. So, I'm gonna scan his main. Just take a look. Stargate. Well, that means Vikings are even better. It's not, I was scared of Templar. That's what I was looking for there. But that is not Templar. Let's put some Marines. We can start making depots to help wall that area somewhat. But yeah, priority is Vikings even more than I going to start building the depots on these bases that he might want to take. Well, maybe I want to take that one. But, uh, ship weapons, level 2, plus 3 attack, plus 3 armor. There we are. Drop a couple mules. We got 75 SCVs. It's a solid number. Control F1 for the idle workers. Now make sure we have a Ghost Academy, just in case. So, I am going to select this whole army, and then I'm going to control shift click Oh, it doesn't work on that. The Vikings. So now I have the whole army. And on control one, I can control click the Vikings. Control three, shift three. And pretty soon, well, I'm building some liberators. I'm going to build a fourth command center. Let's take a look. I'm gonna move out the arm. We're gonna start some turrets over here. How long on those upgrades? They're finishing up, so I don't necessarily want to take a fight. If I don't have to yet, but can't do that. We're at maximum supply. Oh, it's on. Plus two ship weapons. Usually after that, uh, it's better to get mech armor because 
Uh, it's better to just have your unit survive for longer. Yeah, Mass Tempest is the choice here. So, looks like he's taking that fourth base. We've got 3-3 three, three finishing. But I also... I'm just going to scan. Most of that is pretty vulnerable. I don't really want to fight until 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to add some more production here. One more scan. There it is. We're going to get the high sec auto tracking and the building armor. Move the Vikings into position. Stim. I'm actually going to target fire down the Colossi. More Vikings. He's got the uh, tectonic destabilizers, which make it better against buildings, but only buildings. Just to be clear. More Vikings. Even though the ground attack does look like that, it only is a damage upgrade against the buildings. Let's get the fusion core. It's actually for medevac speed, is what I'm going for now. Here's what we'll do. Some advanced multitasking. I'm going to have that Liberator siege up here. Have another Liberator siege up here. Anything to keep them a little busy while I rebuild. We're going to move some of the SCVs out of the main to one of these new outlying bases. Medivac speed upgrade. Get some. A little bit of everything here. Looks like this is doing pretty good. What are the Tempests? How many kills? 13 kills. Pretty good. Don't got the minerals. Ready for dust. Depleted that mineral cluster. Go on. Wait, not you gonna get me. All right. Now we have the Vikings. Ghost reporting. I've got some ghosts, but I'm not gonna really add them in quite yet. That mineral cluster's mined out. This better be good. Yeah, right. Ready to plunder. Upgrade complete. This better be good. Good ones. We're at max supply, so... He's got a lot of high Templar. Okay. So we're gonna have to do... Let's get into the fight. It is gonna have to be the Ghost. We're gonna get Liberator range as well. Ghost Liberator is your answer, by the way. It's not particularly easy to control, but he sat there and he's built that army. So. Also, turrets are going to be very helpful. Transformation systems armed and ready. I'm probably going to end up sacrificing the bio army in order to do some damage here. And I need to be able to rebuild into it's very important not to build battle cruisers here. Guys are exhausted. Uh as it's not gonna cut it. All right, we're going in. That's Just going to head into the main. 
essentially trying to get rid of the tech tree here. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot. But I need to switch my army. And unless I want to do a super micro-intensive army composition, that's the way to do it. We're going to set up one Liberator to siege up his base. We're adding more turrets. So, the EMPs are needed. EMP everything. Liberator sieged up. Bio army doing what it can. And then Vikings on deck. It isn't easy. There are many times when it's hard to land all that, but he's sitting there with one hotkey, A moving up. It, almost no players who are actually this level will be moving their Templar separately. We can go back and take a look at his army groups. They are, uh, he doesn't have any. So, if you're like, well, what if he has Templar? No, this is your average uh, Protoss death ball. So you will be able to figure out where the Templar are. Um, because they'll be with everything else. Another important point is the Vikings are quite good against Stalkers and Immortals on the ground. Because Vikings have a bonus damage to Mechanical uh, when they're on the ground. This was originally supposed to be something like, well, it was originally for this scenario. Why that was buffed. Um, what is Mechanical? Stalkers, Immortals. Uh, so the idea was you could build Vikings to knock down Colossi or air units and then fight against ground. So Vikings actually do 24 damage a hit against Mechanical. So that is the same amount as a Disruptor shot against a non-armored unit with higher DPS. So A Viking beats a Stalker 1v1, but then again, what doesn't? But did we stay at that 80? No! I fail! He did leave very quickly, but I do apologize. And also, apparently, I got to Platinum, by the way. So all that bit about the ranking system was irrelevant. It appears it's working now. We did not get promoted to Bronze League Heroes. So... It was just a longer, rougher start to the season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But that does mean failure, and that does mean the people succeed. It is scary. That army is very tough. 
honestly, this is the hardest part for me as well, playing Terran, is breaking it. Because I know how to do it. Like, you can have all your theory crafting you'd like. You can have binders full of uh, ideas for beating that death ball. But it all kind of comes down to... So here's what I sacrifice. I, I need... I want to try to get this through. I'll tell you what I prioritize. I don't bother stimming, okay? 90% of the time in those fights, I just hotkey my ghosts in with the bio army. EMPs everything. Bio units are almost irrelevant at that stage, at least until you're, you actually land EMPs. Then maybe you can stim. But I don't care if my army's stimmed, especially since bio's only like 30 supply. It needs to be in the right spot, and I need to hit the EMPs. So essentially, you have to ignore Marine Marauder and just use it as cover for your, your ghosts. Otherwise, you're in for a world of hurt. And you probably are anyways, but hopefully they're in for more. Bio. At that point, Bio is just cover for your better units. A Zerg. We're gonna play some mech today. I wanted to get some mech going. So, mech doesn't mean we literally build no marines. If they attack into your lib circles, that always helps. I mean, welcome to F2. All players do it. Like, you can you can sit there and twist and be like, he shouldn't have attacked that. It's like, well, if he did, if he had backed off and maybe found a different angle or moved his Templar, then maybe he wouldn't be Platinum. And you've now discovered the entire point of the series. Congratulations. More supply depots. Go ahead. We got that 16, 17... Sending out the SCV on 18, on 19, we're building right in the orbit. SCV ready. Ninety-five percent of this chat uses F2, but it acts like they don't. That's not true. Ninety-five percent of this chat doesn't. Okay, not quite, but doesn't play. But the ninety-five percent that do use F2. It isn't, it's, it is a crutch, okay? Cru what are crutches supposed to do? Crutches allow you to move. Without a crutch, it's hard to move. Uh, if you need one. If you don't need one, it might help you move while you're learning, and then slow you down, is the, the summary. And... Like, a crutch isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just a lot of people don't know how to put it down. That's the summary. So he had a hatch first. That's it. Like, it, it has a lot of uses. I use F2 a lot of the time for selecting all of certain units, like Vikings or Ghosts. Because you can, you can press F2 and then... Well, in this case, I have it rebound, but... Everybody knows it as F2, even if they have it rebound, so. Uh, you press F2, and then you control-click whatever unit you want uh, more of, or you want to select all of. This is very useful for spellcasters and sometimes, like, air units. It's just most people press F2, and that's the end of the line. <laughs> oh, there's no pervert pillar there, my friend. I also screwed up the build a bit. This was supposed to be a, oh my god, more micro required. <laughs> Wait, why did you leave? I thought we were just getting to know each other a little better. He could have won that fight. So this is why you don't, you want to get, this is why, let me start from the top. You want to get a factory before the reactor. Is because a reactor takes less time to build. Which means you'll be sitting there with a reactor done and a factory not. If you want to go Hellions. And I do want to go Hellions. So. For those who don't know, the general timing for Zerglings 
is with a normal hatch first, they can have Zerglings out 230 to 240. That can be across the map closer to three minutes. But I'd expect Zerglings. The same is true for Protoss with their first Cybercore unit. Not necessarily a Zealot, but uh, their first Cybercore unit can be across the map at about three minutes. Probably at the lower levels, might take a bit longer, but that three minute mark is when shenanigans can begin. Um, but they don't necessarily end, so. Oh, I don't like this map because you can't build a command center to wall it off very easily. But we're gonna send these Hellions out. Found some Zerglings. They do have speed. Oh, and speed finishes around 3.30 to 3.45. But the earliest you should expect it is 3.30. And if they don't have speed, they're probably getting it soon. Unless they're doing... If they don't have speed by four minutes, especially if you saw they were getting gas. Hmm. I mean, they might just be a Platinum Zerg and have forgotten. Because attention deficit Zerg is really a thing. But you can't assume. We're going to look because sometimes they have roaches. Sometimes they have speed and roaches, but that is why we got the Banshee. Because a lot of players will follow my low AP and Zerg guide. <laughs> I like to pretend. And they will go roaches. But the roaches might be defensive. If he doesn't have a third, I'm not going to attack in with those aliens. That's all we're looking at right now. I have so much gas. Get two more factories. He's not taking a third, so I'm going to scan the main. He has a lair. He's getting roach speed. Okay. Put a Hellion. Shift click it to the watchtower. Shift click another Hellion to one of the third bases. And check for the other one. He's not taking that base. I'm going to build a third banshee which is a bit excessive and i don't wouldn't usually do this but if he has when you're playing mech and you have three cc and he's on two bases i need to know if it's mutas i don't trust him it smells like mutas look at all the oh wait why am i getting two ng base smells like mutas i'm gonna start building a couple widow mines he had two gases i'm gonna i'm gonna send one banshee out there's still a lot of roaches, though. Let's see if we can find them. We're gonna wait until the armory's done. And we're gonna build two Thors as well. Oh, he expanded here. Little bit of Banshee Micro. And we're just going to hit this base. I'm going to move the Banshees into a good spot to hit it and focus on my macro now. That way I should be able to get away. I'm going to go up to five factories. you got to give them some space because I don't want to be walling off my damn siege tanks again. Like I always do. So, yeah, I can beat those queens. And this is why Zerg players, you keep building queens instead of, you know, anything else. And at this point, I've got several Thors. I'm going to build a tank. We still have the Banshee at home. So when he thinks about doing something like this... Just a big roach all in, because he has no other units. We're even going to get Hellbats, because in this case, the Hellbats are just to go in front. I'm getting tech labs on everything. I like having four tech labs, because usually you want to mass up those high-tech units. He's transferring his, uh... Okay, we're running away here. Ah, found him. Send those Banshees home. And that's the benefit. I don't like Banshees as worker killers, especially not at this level. But 
a lot of players will just go roaches because it's easier. And then they will neglect queen. So you'll be able to defend any significant attacks. And also, uh, it'll negate the value of all those roaches. Did I not get... So gas is kind of important. We're going back. How many... We have 75 SCVs. Why did that happen? Let's drop some mules. Make as many tanks as I can. Hellions. Alright. I'm gonna control shift... Wait, did I not select? Control shift out the SCVs. Let's get a sensor tower. Like, I'm so far ahead economically. Infestation pit. There's nothing here that makes me want to stop doing what I'm doing. Let's get Supply wall depots. Do I have a second armor? Let's do that. Three in gas. Why did I build a bunker? I do that sometimes out of reflex. One one nice thing to do is just send a widow mine or two out. Not towards their base, just, you know, out there. It's kind of an overseer check and also a grammatic scout. Do we build units? Alright. Got forces under attack out there! SCV ready. Sure. Bad news. Any extra minerals? Because you don't want to just spam Hellions. Any extra minerals, I'm just putting into more command centers. Like, if you have... If you're not producing any Hellions, produce Hellions. But if, like, you're at, like, 1,500, 200, a couple siege tanks, and then command center, too. That's the beauty of mech. You're not as mineral heavy. Just means you, you need more gas in the long run. That's a big part. Well, we're pretty much maxed out. I'm not really waiting for anything here, so... We're gonna bring some of these SCVs with us. Just put them on auto-repair. Did you know there's a hotkey for auto-repair? Alt-R. There you go. Fun fact, that's the same as the, um... That uh, repair out. robot hotkey in Factorio, which I recently right. learned. What's our go ahead? What's up? Ready to roll out. Too much Factorio. Well, we're playing Factorio here as well, so. There's his army. Because I didn't think he went far. Usually they won't go very far. Alright, I'm unseaged. He wanted, that's not going to go well for him. Alright, it did not go well for him. More gas. If he doesn't, right now, all I'm scared of are really vipers. Pretty much hive tech. Maybe. I'm not really scared of swarm hosts, to be honest. It's pretty much vipers, brood lords, maybe lurkers. Make sure we're always scanning forward. Both for creep tumors, and I have a little time to siege. Our command set has been upgraded. Make some more Thors, because uh, I think we got the tank count down. Oh, raise those depots. The beauty of sensor towers. This is your typical Platinum Zerg response, was, I'm dying horribly to Hellbats and Siege Tanks. Maybe Zerglings will do the trick. So that's why we're adding more and more. Honestly, personally, I've been adding more sensor towers to great success in my games, like at the at Master's Plot. Pro players, I see adding more sen- like, 
having for a hundred gas you get an extra like two or three seconds of warning which is a lot of time in sc2 does the zergling response ever work maybe for rainer he's the only player who i think really him and Sarah are the only players who ever really make use of Zerglings, especially against these late game compositions. Sometimes players like Rogue will make them into Banelings, but only like Raynor and Sarah seem to make Zerglings work. So I'm pretty, I'm reasonably sure this guy is not Raynor. I'm getting the impression he is not 600 APM and the second best player in the world. So. In that case, uh, there are some vipers. It's a little late. That means maybe we spread the tanks out a bit. Oh yeah, and you want to put the Thors in high impact mode, which is the single target. Makes it better for taking out things like vipers. Three in gas! Okay. There we go. The three and gas, for some reason, I don't know why, but it seems to be harder for me in general to always have three and gas as Terran. I think it's partially because of the SCV's building, as opposed to both Zerg and Protoss. They, like, once you press the gas button, the gas is building, whereas the SCV has to manually build it. So, uh,. But it, it takes extra work. Can you put Hellbat? You cannot put Hellbats in a bunker. You can't do anything useful with Hellbat. Stop pretending like they're useful. They're not useful. Why does SC2 replay stats say 69, yet the game says 71? SC2 replay stats calculate slightly differently. Honestly, I bet SC2 replay stats is more accurate. Um, but it, it also calculates the screens per minute as well. Like, in general, SC2 replay stats has a lot more advanced statistics than the score screen. But we're going off the in-game statistics. All right. That's what we're counting. What's one out of three in gas? One out of three is... The you built a gas and then forgot to add extra workers. Which happens more as Terran, because uh, as Zerg and Protoss, you press a button, the gas builds, and then it's either at like zero or three out of three. Rarely do you have your worker. As Zerg, you literally can't have your worker sitting there because the worker becomes the gas. As Protoss, you can have, technically the probe can hang around. And sometimes it does. All right, we got a Terran. We're going to make a few, because we're at the level. I think it's important to understand, like, the threats. And and Terran has some unique ability to be annoying early, especially against Terran. So, mostly, mostly via Reapers. Uh, Reapers and Hellions are your early game. I'm building to be able to have space for an add-on. And against Terran, you don't really wall off. I'm going to scout at 16 instead of 17. Because I want to be able to get in before the barracks finishes. Because a lot of players... Well, a lot of players will just wall off anyways, but... I'm going to be building my second depot at the employee entrance, which in this case is back here, the, the Reaper Cliff area. No, oh, one extra CV. I think he's expanding based on the fact he went command center first. I'm going. So, on paper, I can try to win the game with one Reaper. 
I will Reaper Micro a bit. This is your one opportunity to try to Reaper Micro. But one Reaper, and then we'll stop there. Because you know what I can be confident in? He doesn't have any units. Because his barracks isn't done. Yes. I can do that much math. So, even despite him not having any units, I am going to still put the uh, Reaper Cliff Depot. Just get in the habit of it. He may have a Marine. Like, here's the thing. Even with Micro, one Reaper does not put out enough damage to be worth slowing down the rest of your build. Like, even if he doesn't build a Marine or something. He has a third barracks there. It's mostly for scouting and slowing down anything else. I'm making sure we're still building SCVs. In fact, we're kind of overbuilding. That's a Marauder. So Marines with a bunker. Yes. We're going to need to have enough units to keep them at bay. Getting that second gas. Some players will get the second gas on the low ground. All right, the expansion's done. But the idea is, he has nothing that can get by my ramp. Unless he weirdly builds reapers or something now. So he's stuck attacking the low ground. Which is where I can put a siege tank. Behind a bunker, importantly. Because he might have enough units to just kill one if I don't have a bunker. Our command center's been upgraded. Add-on complete. A little late on the second gas means the siege tank slightly delayed, but it's still the priority. Gonna send the Reaper in one more time. I'm not walling off because all Terran units are ranged. Walling off usually just means you're you're hurting yourself more than anything, to be honest. They can use it against you. Not without more supply, we're not. Wow. Okay. So I guess we're going Banshee again. Usually I wouldn't go Banshee against Terran. Because they have a lot of built-in counters. But. Yeah. Sending one extra. He's going straight for the tank. That's why we built the bunker. And there you go. Magnifico. He loses three Marauders. I mean, he's trying his build. Didn't work out. A lot of players in Platinum uh, would have microed that first Reaper, forgotten the rest of their build, gotten supply block building the first tank, lost the bunker, Tank comes out on the high ground, but already lost the ro low ground, and suddenly, even on SCVs. Was it a build or was it a stew? Kybrit wants his daily attention, so we'll give him a response. That was obviously a build. That was clearly a build. I know you might not recognize it. But he, like, that was one of the more figured out, if misguided builds. In fact, probably the most figured out build we've seen today. It was clearly a build. Like... Already? He didn't decide. He didn't jump into that game thinking, I guess we'll come up with it as we go along and then build three barracks in straight up into Marauder. That's just not how it goes. No, he saw a build order guide re-uploaded from 2012. That's what he did. I assume. Watched it in 360p and was like, this Day J guy seems pretty cool. Maybe I'll watch more of his videos. 
I think I win that fight. Give him a pat on the back. Good fight. On? Good fight out there. Alright. Well, yard wall. I'm building a reaper. This just means we're gonna get the bunker earlier. I'm gonna keep the SCV patrolled over here, because if he doesn't have an expansion within, like... So the reaper comes out at about uh, two minutes to two minutes and ten seconds, depending on how uh, on point the build is. So, if he doesn't have an expansion slightly after that, which is when I'm going to send the SCV in, well then, shenanigans are afoot. And we have to acknowledge that. Shenanigans are afoot. He's got a tech lab. He's, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Marauders seem to be very popular today. But we got the employee entrance depot. We got the bunker for a reason. I got the bunker at that time because if usually the Reaper comes across the map, I think it's safely you can say about 220 if it goes straight there. Uh, if it's much earlier than that, it's probably proxied. So, if you have that bunker up by 220-ish, you usually at least have enough to shut down the starting Reaper. I'm gonna pull the Reaper out of the bunker, because it's unlikely that uh, he builds any more off of the Tech Lab barracks. And we're back to the Siege tank. We're really refining that uh, TVT build against these effectively one base plays. I'm gonna send two marines forward because I can't run the risk of a siege tank showing up. Get them the depot there, make sure. Not supply block. Most important, even over building SCVs, is building uh, units right now. Because if he expanded... Oh, it's a Banshee. Honestly, didn't expect it. We're gonna work towards a Raven. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but we should get an engineering bay. We gotta save those scans. We're do a little stutter step. I did not expect the Banshee. I think I was thinking, like, too much about last game. And how it was this weird Marauder play. Instead of thinking about the options for this game. You gotta be careful not to do that. Let's see here. Did he proxy this? There's no starport in his main. That's interesting. Oh, well, we're gonna get a turret in each mineral line. We get back over here. All out of gas. We're gonna have the Reaper check all the bases now. This better be good. Because if he proxy the starport, you know, it's a gateway drug. Next up, you're proxying everything. Next up is the battle cruiser. Oh, has that Reaper been there? SCV ready. Well, Give us your best shot. he repaired the Banshee. We're, we're, we're putting together quite a picture here. So. Very important we do this. All right.
I'm doing one of the most important things in the game, which is stealing his tech lab. Mm-hmm. It's mine now. Actually, let's research STEM. Now that we're here, gotta build more supply depots. This does not become relevant particularly often. Um, but. It is technically possible. What a supply block. Also stop. More NG Bay, please. If you research anything, does that impact his ability? What if it, what if he could no longer? No, 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 no. When you research something, it's just applied across the board. You don't lose. Or... It's my tech lab now. Unless he kills my barracks and puts a building on it. He can't take over the research. As soon as whatever's, like, powering it, it just gets cancelled. That's how it works. So... That would be interesting if you could hijack the tech research. <laughs> Did I wall off my damn siege tank? Oh my. Ding. Research complete. SCV ready. Ready. Where are those Marines going? SCV ready. Wall off my siege tank so much. Get an armory. Can't build there. Hmm, we're gonna get a sensor tower at this base. This better be good. It's been a bit to set up here, but we finally got a decent army. And we're gonna go take the third. What's going on? Sensor tower, some turrets. Can't build there. Gonna get a couple medevacs now. He's got two sensor towers. Making very sure. So what is the priority now? Upgrades and getting the 200 supply. Let's try to reorganize everything. We're gonna make sure we have a few turrets on the edge of the main. Plus one mech weapons. Do we have count? Yeah, we got all the goodies. Plus two, plus two. Does he have? He has zero, zero. The Reaper would show it. How many SCVs? I'm gonna queue up enough SCVs. So 15 more SCVs will give me like 80. So I'm done with SCVs for now. I'm gonna get these. Plus two armor. One medevax. Supply depots. Spotter depots. Mm, that sensor tower paying off a bit, isn't it? Gotta build more supply ah, vengeance! That's stim. Was it worth all your mer- <laughs> Alright, we can bring that barracks back home as well. That was the most important part of this game. Revenge! <laughs> Let's get out. Fourth command center started. And the next thing I like to build is a factory. Like, once you've already got your three bases set up, another factory, another starport, usually. I'm trying to put it in a place where I can build an add on, because I'll probably want a reactor. What? Three out of three! 
Let's go throw the cyclone away somewhere so I don't have to think about it anymore. Very important. Uh, shift click off some marines on the mini map to scout. That's usually how it's done. Occasionally you'll click on the marines on the uh, on the actual screen, but it's usually better to just right click on the mini map or a click usually, and then uh, so here here you go a click shift one two or however many. Not they go. Because it deselected them from the main group. You bring the main group back. And uh, those two marines are off on their mission now. This tech lab. Move this base over. Some turrets. Depleted that mineral cluster. Three, three. Plus two mech weapons is actually a really big upgrade as well. Well, so is plus one. Once you get those siege tanks to kill siege tanks and less hits, that's a big boost. Our base is under attack. Looks like a weird amount of units. I'm gonna go deal with them. I have vision. And that's so many units that his main army shouldn't be like a huge thing. This well, I lost. So this is why I lost my raven. I, re I, I lost the raven to the random marines I already knew were there. Okay. Nailed it. Alright. I heard a battle cruiser. So this is an issue. So now we gotta awkwardly stim. I'm gonna start building a fuck ton of turrets everywhere. Raise the TPM. I mean, I probably should have scanned at some point. And this is kind of the exact opposite of what you want to do. You don't want to just throw yourself into a base trade. But I'm pretty confident I can hold it home. If I build Vikings. I need Vikings. Our base is under attack. Not enough energy. All right. Vikings are the number one priority here. This be good. At this point, you got to be a little careful. We need to get ship weapons upgrades. He's not jumping away. This is part of why we just got that, like, second, um, what was it? We got the second, uh, starport. That's the word. Because sometimes this happens. Um, I should have seen it coming. I should have moved out. He, he successfully masked it by, like, having any marines, I will say. That was a very sneaky move. Alright. Well, now we have a bunch of vikings, so here's the thing. I can also go battle cruiser. And he's already sent me down this road here, so. The thing about battle cruisers is because of that tactical jump, you kind of have to not just sit there. Because if you just sit there, 
then he just keeps picking like off more and more stuff. Yes, sir. We need more minerals. By the numbers, boys. Mm. Can't. Need more minerals for that. We could use some help. All right, there are the battle cruisers. There's the Operate risk complete. that the battle cruisers the just minerals. jump when they are taking a losing fight as well. So there's that concern. So you can't necessarily just go for it. All right. With the Vikings over here, the bio army to the left. Our base is under attack. Our center's been upgraded. You ready for war? Can't. More Viking upgrades. Guys are exhausted. Well, on the bright side, he's jumping in the turrets. Which means the jump's on cooldown for quite a while. And we're gonna intercept with the Vikings. Now it's on cooldown for a long time if he dies. Fun fact, unseed some of the tanks. That mineral cluster's mined out. By the numbers, boy. Ooh, little mines. We're gonna send one marine over there. I take that as a sign of desperation. Keep scanning. Mineral cluster depleted. We actually have so many Vikings, it kills the uh, battle cruisers before they can jump. A little bit of stutter step. He jumped directly into my base. So he doesn't have the other bases. Important note here. Build my own battle cruisers. But better. But are they better? I don't know what the upgrades are. I'm actually, gonna send the medevacs home at this point. I didn't check his upgrades during all this, because the answer, no matter what, the answer was still Vikings. That's the summary, like... Like, no matter what was coming out, it was still Vikings. That mineral cluster. More Starport. Depleted that mineral cluster. No touching. Can we get smart servos I like for it. transformer mode? One out of three, I guess! This could be a mistake. It definitely is. Let's go home. Mineral cluster depleted. Can 
we take the rest. Yeah, I keep getting caught off guard by these death ball compositions, but this is really what you can expect against probably half. The real key is patience, more than anything. Is the understanding of I know how to beat this as long as I don't lose everything right now because I'm panicking. Thank you, Hans Dunk. Let's trade out the rest of the marines. Yes, I'm feeling quite comfortable at this point. We want to try to bait him into jumping into my vikings. Auto repair, please. Because that'll be fun. You know how to lose all your marines? I'm gonna show you. Here's a here's a speed run guide, guys. Looking forward to it. The repair! Ah! Hey, has no turrets. That's pretty convenient. Are those the Thors? Thor drop micro. I think it's only fitting to have the battle cruisers here, okay? Our command center's been upgraded. How many SCVs? I'm down to 62. It's been a bit of a of a mess throughout this. One out of three! Who called in the fleet? Let's get by the numbers, boys. Go ahead. Bandit. The fact I can't really max out again is a little like I can't max out that quickly is a little uh hmm. Mind out. Not ideal, but we've almost fully transitioned into the Sky Talk. I'm sorry, Freudian slip. Sky Terran. I don't have your motto, which means this is actually kind of dicey. It is a bit of a trap, actually. Probably should have gotten your motto first. Because the Thors are kind of good otherwise. <laughs> You started this! You can't be mad if I make battle cruisers now. Our base is under attack! 
Mineral cluster depleted. Where are you going? We're not done. Okay. Can't hold him alone. Yeah. Oh my god, widow mines. I hate widow mines. Hey, lay off my SCVs, you shut mineral clusters mine uh, out. Ah, uh, what? Very well. Yeah, can't hold him alone. Sir? Okay, whatever. There's nothing there! Well... That was a bit of a mess. Oh, we ruined it! I got the mule achievement! I I did have to scale it up. Honestly, if I had scouted better... I wouldn't have had to spike the APM a little. But there was like the, oh, we need to actually switch up the entire unit composition. This could have been solved by putting a little more effort into scouting. Overall. Um... That's the summary. But, I got blind- This happens way too often. At this level and, and at the higher level, it happens occasionally. Suddenly, seven battle cruisers. Um, it's not sudden. No one, no one- You can't chrono boost battle cruiser production. But if you wait long enough, and Marines do not counter battle cruisers. They are one of the only anti-air units that do not. How do you hold off the first wave? Well, if you do max out. Like, they can't max out on battle cruisers. Well, it, like that. Like like you saw there. Honestly, if they build like 15 battle cruisers and you don't know, you kind of deserve to lose. It was like 7. And they didn't have great upgrades. Why didn't you get your motto? APM conservation. Very important. Gotta ration it. Also, I forgot. Conservation. I forgot until it was too late to be relevant, which was after the Thors were dead. SCV ready. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the limit for platinum is 80 APM. Based on the statistics from literally hundreds of thousands of games last year, the average APM for a Terran in Platinum was about 95. Um, maybe like 93. It's a little dependent on matchup. So the idea is the APM limit is at least 10 below the average of the entire league. And the idea is we're going to, even below the average APM of the league, win a lot more. Uh, thus, the low APM challenge. How high does it go? Masters. Which, by MMR, uh, not by accidentally getting placed there as a silver leaguer, to be clear. Though in Diamond, unlike a couple years ago when I did the low APM challenge, since Diamond has become such a spread, it is no longer that I am uh, having Diamond be one APM limit, it scales up with each tier, because every tier of diamond, 
is actually a larger MMR range than the entire Platinum League. So it seems reasonable to me to have a different limit for each tier of it, which uh, scales up. So that is um, a third hatchery in his main, which is uh, weird. Not concerning, just kind of confusing, more than anything. So I am going to file that away under the okay whatever tab. Gotta build more supply depots. Because a hatchery can't attack you, at least not a hatchery on that side. I do have to chase these zerglings. Because if they kill my Reaper, I'm in trouble town. I'm going to match him by getting a third CC. Sir, come back here. I'd like to have a word with you. Have you thought about buying a timeshare? You can get a free timeshare during, like, October 30th. In the great city of... Fort Lauderdale. And you only have to share it with three other families. That's easy for you to say, Zerglings. You were born with other families. I do appreciate the, uh, the macro hatching. Here. Understanding your limits is important. You're like, well... I never remember to larva inject, so honestly, I think that's a good move. Of course, he's not taking a third, so those banshees are going to become a little more relevant here. I don't think that you literally can't be closer to the gas. It's it's a specific amount of space, so I don't think he mines gas faster, though. It's weird that it does go to that hatchery. Oh, well, this is pretty sus. What if I went in up here? Would that be alright? Because I feel like you're doing something weird. Well, there's not much to be done about it yet. Not until I have the gas for more- One out of three! Now, let's go put the Hellions on the edge there. Gonna just put three in gas. So I don't forget. Yeah, whatever. We're just checking for a third base, and if he doesn't have one, it's time to scan now. That's a roach one. Keep scouting. I'm gonna get an engineering bay and an armory now. He has speed. I don't even care if he kills these. I just need to see if he has a lair. Killing any drones is a bonus. He doesn't have a lair. That saved me a scan. And now I don't have to micro my Hellions anymore because they're dead. So I'm gonna get... I'm going to get a Viking now. Ready. Bonus tip. Get your Hellions killed, and then you won't feel like you need to micro them. Ready to raise some hell. Ready. Okay. This is a scouting barracks now. Viking. Get a Thor. I'm gonna get that Banshee to go see if he has a third base. I found another Ovi. I'm getting Thors, because I still think somehow, despite having no lair, he's gonna manage to go Mutas. So. Not sure how. But, 
You're getting a real Muta vibe. And also, without a lair, what is he gonna do? Have slouches? Slouches? Come on. I got my ears on. I got this. The fuck? That mineral cluster's mined out. I mean, could he have taken a hidden base? Is this the Brood War? There's only so many bases on the map. Like, I'm gonna get another command center. Like, I don't want to take a third before him. I, mean, I already have a third, I just don't want to land it, but I'm going to land it now, because at some point, there's not much else to do. Okay. Well. I am building more supply depots. Alright. I'm just sending out a Hellion on either side. I got seven idle SCVs. They can now go work here. And then we have 33. I mean, I'm not expanding particularly slowly. We're gonna start walling off. Really? I guess we'll take it. I didn't I don't even remember building that command center. Okay, some more lings. <laughs> Alright. As long as I keep building units. Uh sir. What out of three? Hmm. This is annoying. I'm not gonna micro the SCVs because that's just gonna be more trouble. That's where, if my units are close enough. Some of you may die, but I don't have the APM to spare. Alright, well, we got plus two attack finishing, which is a big upgrade. We're gonna bring a few SCVs, and uh, let's go. It looks like he finally wants to expand, so... Something interrupted the he has Burrow. Which is very cute. Oh, he's at the watchtower. Something. Or he has a burrowed ling. Either way. Wah! The terrain button! Hey, that the people zone. only use to accidentally screw themselves up. That's the value of that button. This better be good. What's our target? Can't do that. We're at maximum supply. Does he have lurkers? Yes. But I have tanks. We'll just keep adding more tanks. Actually, no. More starports. The Liberators will eventually be a good counter. Our command center's been upgraded. Ready to raise some hands. Good one. We're at max. Our command center's been upgraded. Let's 
some of those ravagers are burrowed, which is not the ideal move. Click on the siege. Scan. And there's your platinum zerglings. The Ah Ziki. A classic. I mean, not a horrible counter if they have literally only Thor. I'm using Selecto Army at this point. Yeah, the tanks did. That's why we're not sieging up. Believe it or not, you can attack with tanks that aren't sieged. A lot of people don't know that, but that way they don't shoot your own units in the foot when the zerglings are being annoying. No, no, no. His clan tag was GG, bro, so he didn't need to GG. That was okay. Back in my day, we had to research siege mode. So it was even harder. Well, we did it. Platinum 2. Barely under. That may be a little bit of slowness at the end, but... Kaczynski portrait. Mm -hmm. And TVT. We've had a nice spread. Well, actually, we had one Protoss. New subscriber detected. I think you Storm SC too. Oh, I'm sorry, months. Stormski. So, yeah, I, I do think we're going to focus on. Well, I think. Here's what I noticed. With the low, here's a, here we'll do a little meta commentary. So, the average watch time for the low APM challenge is very high. Um, though as a percentage, it's not so high. M the average watch time for almost every episode is around 45 minutes. Which, remember, some people don't watch the whole thing. Some people are like, why did I click on this four hour video? Get me out of here. But what I noticed is, uh, if it's two hours or three and a half hours, or even close to four, the watch time on average is still about 45 to 50 minutes, which is very, that's a huge amount if you add it all up. But So my point, we're gonna focus more on the two hours. So I'm gonna have a couple more games tonight and that means more episodes, because YouTube, when YouTube sees that people didn't watch, like, 75% of your video on average, even if that means they watched over 45 minutes, doesn't like YouTube's Need like, I bet people hate you because they didn't watch three quarters of your video. Um, I assume that's exactly what they're saying. Um, the rest was useless. <laughs> So, we're going to have a couple more games. We're going to have some questions. Um, and, and you can tell me, what do you think of a focus on that? That doesn't mean there will be less. It'll just mean it'll be a little more spread out. This is Winter from War Factory. No, no, this is... Well, I wanted to do more. 
it's just the rank bug was super demotivating for me, uh, to be honest. Like, I really... And, and of all people, I should have been one to power through it, but... For me, as someone who understands how it works and wants to motivate people to play, in some fashion, it does feel like it undercuts it on every level. So. so that's why it, it seems to be okay now, at least for Platinum Plus. At least on NA. I don't know if it was ever an issue on EU, but so... We'll be back to it on a pretty regular basis. And I'll be honest, we can as many episodes we can put into this series. If I really wanted to maximize that YouTube content, I'd do an hour once a week until the end of time, and then eventually we get to Masters and Restart or something. <laughs> because it'd be like six months to get that done. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't scout. I didn't follow the build at all. I haven't seen anything he's doing. He also didn't scout, so... Here we are. He could be AFK. Hey, he's not AFK. Run away! Oh, well. Barracks. We need to get a siege tank. I'm actually going to get a second bunker here in front of the first as a decoy. We're going to try to build Vikings because the only way, even if he expanded right now, which I'm going to scan for. Yeah, he's on the way across. Even if he expanded, like, air control. That's having vision, forcing him to scan. I need to buy time. This bunker is entirely there. So that way... Okay, then. All right. My siege tank is in a terrible spot. And he didn't. I'm going to lock on to one of his tanks here. Ooh, this is a bit messy. I probably didn't need to pull the SCVs, but... Oh, that wasn't great. But I now have... So I lost an entire base, which leaves me with as many bases as he has. So it's not the end of the world. I still have enough SCVs and two orbital commands. Though the pathing on my siege tanks left a lot to be desired there. Oh my god. I didn't wall it off, but it's almost worse. Because of how bad it was. This is what happens. Game is hard. If it was walled off, I'd just lift something. <laughs> Instead of it eventually getting there. This was... This spotter depot was to see if he attacked the natural. Start stim. Those two bunkers didn't end up working out so good, did they? We'll get the third command center. And... Uh... Hmm. Well, we're checking the corners. Because either there's a huge drop about to come in. Or he's got another base somewhere. And both are potentially on the table. 
I'm gonna have siege tanks unsiege so I can respawn. Go, go, go. Nope, can't build there. You gonna give me more gameway? Coming through. Can't need more minerals for that. Yeah, you don't really need three bases to just one. It is a bit of a stressful situation. Can't need more minerals for that. You want a piece of me, boy? Yeah, whatever. We need more minerals. Don't got the minerals. SCB ready. Not enough energy. Hmm. He's scanning the main. I'm not gonna siege those tanks till he shows. Uh, did I just? Why is it always battle cruisers? Why is it always battle cruisers? Why did I? How does this keep happening to me? Now oh, that's why we keep building Vikings. I mean, Vikings are just generally a good call. You want a piece of me, boy? Because, yeah. Well said. No! kind of overdid it. I'll admit, the panicking has me right-clicking a lot. I built 67 to 26 workers. He did a lot with that 48 APM, to be honest. Platinum, too. He's better than me at this. I mean, when you're on one base, you don't build many workers. That doesn't really cut into it much. He's like, I've been doing the low APM challenge since Brock. Oh. I bow to his wisdom. Wonder Game has gifted two subs to viewers. Well, Maxwell. Hand stamp thirteen thirty seven is gifted two subs to viewers. Another town. Don't forget that battle cruisers exist okay that's an important part like don't don't focus on it but also very important not to forget let's let's buckle down on this one huh? don't got the minerals that was pretty bad it keeps happening SCB ready big job huh gotcha that build he did, by the way, two siege tanks, eight marines, two medevacs. That was the build that got me from silver to platinum in 2010. Now, of course, there were maps like Desert Oasis and Scrap Station. And also, everyone was terrible. Um, but that was the first build I really uh, was like, aha, I figured something out. People don't know how to deal with two siege tanks sieging up in their mineral line. And they didn't. And it worked a significant amount. Until they just didn't have a mental breakdown and they moved their workers. And had any units. But that, that took a while to get to. And apparently it still gets you to platinum. So good to, good to see that, I guess. All right, well, thank you, sir. Well, 
It looks like he's going factory based on the fact... Based on the fact... We're gonna set up a patrol and then... Honestly, we're gonna expand on the high ground now. Because you see all that. Hey, lay off my SCVs, you jerk. He went marine... I... You know, this is probably something very similar. Um, that is my prediction. I'm gonna get my effect. We're gonna get a reactor. I'm actually gonna move everything away from the wall. Because this very much could be a one base siege tank. Gotta build more supply depots. I'm pretty sure I win that now. Yeah. That don't keep going that same direction because you might have, you know, another marine. No more cleaning bots. No witnesses. Three out of three! Well, he's building a turret. So, fun fact. You literally cannot have a starport done till about three minutes and thirty seconds. Maybe... maybe like 315 if you literally go gas first into nothing else. So if you have a turret at 3 minutes and 30 seconds, know that the only thing you're countering are floating barracks. Which are very scary. <laughs> I'm just gonna build Vikings off of this. Just the naked starport there. That's what we call them. Oh, who wins? Hmm. Easy game. Don't got the minerals. Hey, clear the landing zone. Wow, this is uh he's taking his sweet time on expanding. Okay, I'm taking my expansion. I haven't really slowed much down besides sitting with more SCVs than I usually would on my main. We need those depots. What's going on? Get back here, cleaning bot. Another reactor. All out of ready. What is that? Oh, when did you get here? Gonna get a reactor on that. Start stim. I set up a shift queue waypoint for the outlying bases because. What are those? Do I have any detection? Oh yeah, that's bad. I, the banshees were so late that I'm completely unprepared. No, that's not ideal. Now this one should be out within a moment. Yeah, we got a turret down here. Uh, can we repair this? We got one. So yeah, you could definitely have air units at this stage. Well, once again, at least it wasn't battle cruisers. 
I had already forgotten about what we started with, with which was don't forget don't about lose. battle cruisers. Well, we checked every other base, so he doesn't have a hidden base. He doesn't have, like, this crazy economy to just magically have dozens of battle cruisers. so at least there's that. Just gonna get a turret on this edge here. My next supply depot will be the command center, but we're gonna need more than that. What are you guys doing? This is very similar to that other guy who had like the roaming squads of marines Don't got the minerals. that convinced me for some reason there were no battle cruisers. And then the battle cruisers jumped in. Now that's that starport doesn't have a tech lab and he's upgrading something. We're gonna keep building. Ah! Well, out of supply already. Research complete. Transformation system. So, where's the starport? I like it. Is the question. Depleted that mineral cluster. That mineral cluster's mined out. Even the depots here, like it's Age of Empires. The SCVs were transferring. These are the uh, Metal League depots. These are the classic, like, I don't want to move my screen away, so I guess we'll just build everything here. I'm not stealing this tech lab. Amusingly, our second opportunity today to steal a tech lab, but this time I've had enough. All right. You ready for war? Armed and ready. Yeah, Vikings are actually a surprisingly competent counter to buildings. This better be good. Because Terran buildings are mechanical, and they have that bonus mechanical damage. Out of supply already. Three out of three. Get a sensor tower. No, Protoss buildings aren't mechanical. 90% sure. Not 100. What is this? This is co op. Okay. Oh, deja vu. I've just canceled this base before. Like I've played this game three times tonight. I killed one battle cruiser. Armory. You know, at some point, I just need to head this all off by going battle cruisers first. Like, that's the solution: is just build more battle cruisers. Was that an armory? If you build it close, it increases the production. Oh, wait.
More sensor tower. How many SCVs? My SCV count is taking a hit multiple times here. Another armory. At this point, I'm using marines like they're the expendables here. I've been sitting here building anti-air the whole game, my friend, because you keep building air units. Is he in the other corner now? The real big brain play would be to go back to that top right, top left corner. All right. That's the G- Oh, not again. Jeez. Out of supply already? Uh, three for three. Gotta build more supply depots. I've been playing too much factorial. Can you tell? Our base is under attack. What the fuck? Somebody was talking about a big walker unit. I have a battle cruiser. This time, wait, where's my fusion core? Mineral cluster depleted. Let's get into the fight. That mineral cluster's mined out. I'm sorry. Fusion! <laughs> Better. I mean, he already built one and I killed it, but his was not as cool as mine, so that's what's important, I think. What the fuck? It feels like co op. Like, what are they? Ah, yes, yeah, so this is the Mech Terran wave. Uh, it, oh, what's next? And now is the marine wave. Oh, no, run. Ah, too scary. Ah! And now both at once. You ready for this? Oh, and also a banshee. Bring it all together now. Why is that thing out of energy? What happened? He had the cloak on, and it ran out when he got to my base. That's what happened. Mineral cluster depleted. This is why Mama always said, don't turn your cloak on unless you mean to use it. Go ahead. That mineral cluster's mined out. Add on complete. I keep and it what I I swear I have no idea what's going on. Somebody's testing out their AI. I not The oh, units just keep coming. Job, There's gonna be fifteen battle cruisers somehow. I don't know how. But somehow there's gonna be fifteen battle cruisers out of nowhere. Yeah, he's got no no this is he, Ah there's two Yeah, the Banshee! Can't build there. Upgrade complete. All out of gas. 
This is kind of crazy. I kind of want to see where this goes. Like, what happens if, if we give it enough time? What is that? It, by the speed it's moving, it's a marine. Hey, that's pretty fast for a marine. It's an SCV. It was slightly quicker. Building a missile turret. I, it feels like I'm playing the AI. Like, besides the battle cruise. Oh, there's a Thor! Don't worry, I'll respond fairly. Uh, there's another Thor! A banshee! Ah! What's happening? Like, he has so many units, but they're never... They're all in different spots. I don't... Like, what is that now? What's next? A Thor? You get a guess based on their speed on the sensor tower, all right? That's the real challenge. Oh, a tank! He's got 3-3. Three, three. Uh, more battle cruisers! Ah! Ah! Another battle cruiser! Hello! Really need those ship weapons upgrades. Uh, uh. We need more minerals. Oh, we actually microed away. And that's it! And then it just kind of ends! Ah! Wow. Um... He wasn't even that far behind. Like, he had a pretty good economy. Like... He had 3-3 three, three mech. I have no idea. I failed again. He did not. I want to see. We got to go back. I got to see the rally points. Like, is this intentional or like, is this, is he sending them out? Like, is he putting together? He's like, yeah, that's the ticket. Or is it just a rally point? And I don't know which one is worse. Um, <laughs> ah, the full story. <laughs> so he really took micro your macro very seriously. Ah, yes. He, he snuck around. That sensor tower can't see the Banshee. This is the most true low APM player we've seen. This is a relatively competent player who has almost no APM. If they had 20 more APM, they had a realistic chance of winning the game. Mineral They're sitting at 69. Mineral like, depleted. I mean, maybe not building okay. missile turrets Depleted. on the other side of the map, but, like, he's doing mostly the right stuff besides sending random units out.
which seems like a big deal, but actually in the grand scheme of things, it's the smallest part. Yeah, this is a little awkward. Oh, the, the micro. And then eight clicks of Banshee into a bunch of turrets. <laughs> well. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Uh, who would have thought that flying directly into turrets was not good for a banshee's health? He doesn't have any production hotkeys. He's playing it like he's playing Brood War right now. This might be a Brood War player. He's just clicking each building, which explains the disjointed selection of everything as well. He's not using select army; he's just sending things out. Like that's the Brood War style. You just send them out, and you hope something sticks. Like. But he's actually rotating his like this. I'm I'm more and more convinced this is a Can at I least at it? some point played brood war, because he's rotating his camera around a lot. Like he's actually looking at a lot of different stuff. It's just super inefficient and really awkward. But but yeah, this is what a well, it's a trap indeed. Yeah, this looks very much like me playing brood war. So, not very great, but there's relative speed to it. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy has like a hundred games. And he played versus the AI a few dozen times before pressing the ladder button. And after that he was playing remastered. Or before that, rather. Well, apparently that was the, the battle cruiser that broke the camel's back. No, go back. Go back! Oh my god. I failed. That's two subs to the chat. Oh wow. Look at these games. I gotta give a shout out. No, I lie. Okay, apparently I'm wrong. He's played 16,644 career games, and he's been diamond 12 times. No, nope, this is just who he is. I'm gonna go to a game from... 76 APM. Build order. You know what he does? Coke Banshees. Okay. That's the build. Against Protoss, whatever. Alright. Against a Zerg. The build. Liberator. Like, one base Liberator. Interesting. Oh, here's a win. What do we got here? No, he's got builds. He's got different... No, let's start with the Cloak Banshee. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I like it. Okay. I like it. I'm gonna give... An extra pat on the back to uh, Mr. Malik Malakavat. Mel and honestly, if you're on the North American server and you're around the Platinum Diamond League, you'll probably see him. Based on the fact he seems to play more games than probably anyone watching this video. So, it is very likely if you play at a, a relatively normal time on the North American server around Platinum Diamond, you'll see him. So, oh, I don't think we're gonna top that. I I spent the meta time. Uh, we didn't get enough protons games today, but I I don't want to sully that experience. Um, I do hope we see him again on the next episode, but I think we will. Now for the most important part, uh, let's summarize what we learned today. One, Zerg players can't help but make zerglings attention deficit zerg is a real thing watch the angry coach it's a it's a condition 
It might be a mental health condition. We're not entirely sure. I'm not even joking if you watch The Last Angry Coach. It seems to be there are some Zergs who have been in Platinum for so long and they've created so many bad habits for themselves. They literally can't help but build things like Zerglings. So, uh, no matter what, like, Blue Flame Hellion, Zerglings. Battle Cruiser, Zerglings. Like, Mass Siege Tank, believe it or not. Zerglings. So just remember that. Don't panic. The, the key today is mostly don't panic. One, it's going to be battle cruisers. It's going to be a death ball. Don't be afraid. Vikings are even better now. I said Vikings were good. I made it a focus. Uh, I don't think a lot of players needed to push towards Vikings. Based on the Wings of Liberty campaign, when Vikings are actually amazing, they're not that good. But uh, Vikings, even here. Very good. Honestly, they drop off a little bit as we get to Diamond and players focus more on not random capital ship based compositions. But against Terran and Protoss, Vikings, very good. Against Zerg, patience. Patience. Um, in general, late game army control, you just need to be willing to drop the Marines and Marauders. Not cut them out, not oh, throw them away. God. Now I have your but attention. actively work She's your way into a better unit composition. Because trying months. to force a uh, malleable flesh peg into a completely mechanical splash damage hole is not going to work out. And however excited that made you, it's not as exciting as watching your entire army melt to Colossi or uh, Lurkers. So remember that. Uh, and then past that is just making sure we're hitting those production timings, the upgrades, the SCVs, um, the fundamentals. Easy enough, but hard in practice. Uh, I think it was a, quite an educational day, but we did have some questions. It's been a little while, and once again, it, well, we didn't have a pause because of anything in particular besides the intern not getting another lunch break to fix the, fix the rank bug, but either way, either way it goes. Uh, and if you're another race and you're here for opposition research, well, like and subscribe, for one. Make fun of the Terrans in the comments. It's very easy to do. In fact, we're going to have some Terran comments very soon, which I'm very excited for. Uh, and then um, we're going to be doing the same thing for Protoss and Zer. So uh, what do you think? Five hour episodes, three hour, two hours, 30 minutes? Not 30 minutes. There's no way we're doing 30 minutes. It'll take three years. So... Um, now, your questions. Yes, most of them are from a while back. This was from the Are You Too Old to Play StarCraft 2 uh, episode, which was very popular. Some good clickbait on that one, I think. Uh, hopefully this one's even better. But, uh, so we have a lot of people chiming in. Dark Side Atheist. <laughs> Who needs APM when you learn StarCraft on an N64 controller? Behold a god, you mere mortals. Which is very ironic in so many ways. So thank you, Dark Side Atheist, for that. Um, just that's more. That's a question, more a comment. Uh, what, ha Captain? What happens when SCV has a mineral in his hands, and then? Uh, can we can we calm down on the terror music a little? I mean, never. Just a little. Uh, what happens when SCV has a mineral is being sent to gas. Will the minerals be lost? So, this, uh, whenever you're holding something and you switch it out or the unit dies, gone forever. Is it a big deal? No. Um, but, yes, it is. It disappears into wherever uh, if you don't return it to. Like, you can't take it out of their hand. It doesn't drop on the ground. No, it's gone. And then Brobot. In spite of you ripping on me specifically, I play co-op almost exclusively, but it's an upgrade from Arcade. Maybe in another 10 years, I'll work my way to ladder. I don't think it needs to be in that order. In fact, I think a lot of co-op is closer. Um, actually, you're right. Yeah, co-op. Well, there are some things on Arcade. It really depends, but most people don't play Arcade for that. Well, I hope to see you in 10 years, Robot. Remind me in 10 years. Rulo, Rulo Dos... Uh, addressing the topic, uh, I'm not too old. I just don't hate myself enough to play ladder. Mm, that's, that's, 
I respect that. And now, uh, David, David Medley, chiming in, says, is 46 too old? Great portrait, by the way, David. Like your picture. Um, um, does it change your answer if I told you yesterday after losing the mass muta, I banged on my desk until my glass lemonade jar fell and smashed into a thousand pieces? It's very much like a Terran to count. And then, David, this was, yeah, this was the next comment as well. I did that Mines and Marines versus Carrier thing just last week. Very bad! But after I traitor mined my own forces to death, I rebuilt and kept the mines away from my own forces, and that worked fine. What a roller coaster. Thank you, David. Um, and then just, while we don't see the moment in context, uh, the comment is, Creativity is not your strong suit, Terrence. So, I don't know if he's addressing himself. But he has a timestamp in the video, but... Well. Scott. When you are building... Oh, uh, thank you, Loyalist. Uh, also... Old? Loyalist is chilling for 43 months. Damn. 1K viewers in 43 months. Good evening, Wonder. That's just a lot of numbers. Scott. Anyways, we were saying Scott. When you're building your spotting depots while holding shift to keep building the depots, if you right-click on the mini-map, it'll move the camera and you can drop a depot. This saves you from having to scroll around. That's true. I'm actually in the bad habit of scrolling around. But you can right-click on the mini-map, because the spotting depots don't have to be exactly... Like, you just want to get them out there. So that's actually a good tip from Scott that I wanted to include. Uh, May, May Sky. With, my best friend is a fucking casual. I'm sorry to hear that. I try to teach him so we can play against each other. He has 20 to 25 APM. God damn! Thank you for the uh, visualization. As for me, it's more interesting and fun to play versus Human, not bot. But he prefers to just play versus AI. How could I change his mind? Slowly. David's back. Funny you should mention that. I die to getting everything stormed on a regular basis. Funny you should mention that. I died to a war prism the main twice this week. And then, a little later on in the video, I think it went in a different order for some reason, but a little later on in the video, you may be right, but there's a flaw in your reasoning. If I see a part six and I haven't seen a part one, I might watch part one instead of six, but you still get a view that was inspired by me seeing part six in my feed. Possibly a better way than numbering would be to put the league in the title. If I see low APM Diamond Terran, I'm a Diamond Terran, there's a very good chance I'll tune in. My two cents. I know you guys know a lot more than I do about all this. David, with a very realistic take. David um, was born before uh, everyone's entire childhood was put on social media. So that's a very realistic uh, way of looking at things. Like if you see one and you, you see six, you want to go to one. That's not how it works nowadays. That's not how YouTube works. If you look at my old low APM challenge, you have both the part and the description uh, say this is like part five or part six or whatever uh, and the league like this is silver gold and uh, every single video gets less views um, I mean it's a lot of views thank you guys but every single one in order one two about ten or eleven everyone has less views than the one before it and that's how it works David you're commenting on a video that actually has more views than the second part of this series fun fact even though it's the fifth just saying. I'm sorry, David. The world doesn't work that way anymore. Uh, but thank you for commenting. I do very much appreciate your commentary. Keep it up. Um, hopefully you'll get around to seeing this one. Zhu Wang says, I have a problem with tunnel vision and getting focused on one or two things. Got any thoughts on what race would be easier for me to work on? Uh, or any ideas on how to break tunnel vision. So, I call it the five second rule because it's nice and profound sounding. But essentially, every five seconds, you want to be doing something different. That doesn't mean literally something different. It means thinking of a different idea. What I mean, building SCVs, scouting, building army, adding production, adding supply depots. These are all different things that every five seconds, if you have to set a, uh, like a timer or metronome, maybe try that. I don't know, like... The idea is there should be no time in the game because every five seconds, let's say building a supply depot or two, that takes four or five actions. 
times in every five seconds. There's 12 intervals of five seconds. Stick with me. Terrans are following it all. So that's about 60 APM. If every five seconds you're doing another thing of approximately that level, it's about 60 APM. And I think most of you can at least see that realistically. And if it's not exactly five seconds, okay. But the idea is you're trying to focus on another part and you're getting a rotation. This is true for all the races, but especially Terran and Zerg. But Terran especially, it's like, uh, build SCVs, build depots, build army, move army. This is the one that you mix in if you have the time, because you might not have been able to keep up. Move your army slash scout back to it. Like, uh, and round and round we go, because it's a real-time strategy game. So you want to get as close to that real-time as possible. Um, Night Hunter chimes in, says, How the hell is he in gold with 39 APM? Referencing, I'm sure, one of my opponents. I usually do 200 in co-op, to which, thank you, Night Hunter. Uh, I hope to see you somewhere else, very far from here, where the point of this entire series isn't. Uh, this one's here. Um, mostly because I love your name. Out of Von Chesterfield, Esquire. These low APM guides are like nature documentaries for me. No intention to actually use the knowledge, but it is entertaining, and I can watch them almost endlessly. Well, we'll test this by seeing if Otto von Chesterfield gives us another approving comment on this video. Neon Ray. Great stuff. As a random player, I've watched all the guides pro posted. I'm still an undisclosed metal rank. So silver. Um, but that doesn't invalidate my gratuity. I'm pretty sure he's tearing. Uh, well, on a more philosophical front. Do you have a simple mantra you say when folks try to tilt you in game chat? Yes. Press F11. That brings up the in-game chat. And then you can block them. And if your block list is full, you report them. Because for some reason, if you report them, it, does, it ignores the fact your block list is full. fun fact don't ask me how i know um business sure but you are winning or it's still early game how about when you're getting your ass handed to you i tried telling myself i'm here for fun oh Dr. Valadois, thank you Bean. is that all mousy is i'm here for, for one fun minutes. uh and i mute them but that doesn't fix it well um Book recommendations are acceptable. Huh. Well, I can recommend the Expanse series. Uh, that'll keep you busy for a while. Uh, worth reading if you haven't. Not related at all to any of this, but I, I recommend it. Um, as to your other point, play more games. Eventually, you get over it. Or you don't, in which case you stop playing. But really, at some point, you just get good or you get out. There is no global mute. Honestly, there probably should be. I will say, unless you want to block every single person that you play against, and remember there is a limit to the block list for some indiscernible reason. Um... Then... You just kind of maybe hit them first. Maybe that that is what results in a lot of these. But uh, otherwise, I got not too much more for you. And then we have Sean, fifty-five years old. This side. Fifty-five years old. Played StarCraft One, but never did the online thing. After this post, I decided to drag my old ass back to the battlefield. No, not battlefield. Starcraft. Definitely not that. Thanks for the videos and keep it up. We'll see you lads on the field. So look out for Sean. Maybe Neon should at this point. Uh, so, yeah, we took a, a bit more of a philosophical turn near the end here. But thank you for your... This is just a sample of all the um, enlightened 
exciting and dramatic comments. And also the terrible ones. But mostly, mostly approving and positive, and I do appreciate that. But by, like, the seventh one, it seems a little self-serving and wastes a lot of time in the video. So, um, thank you to everyone. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Low APM Challenge. Um, I hope I made your day and your games a little bit better. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun. Give them the business. Stay chill.